back to the this is okay. back to the Grace Jonah one. I think this might be a little bit wrong because what if there are um, what if your domain of discourse has five people in it? So like A, B, C, D, and E, and let's say that um, only uh, B is prepping. So under that interpretation, then this sentence L should be uh, true, right? Yes. Agreed? Okay. Um, because at most one person is prepping. They're not two prepping people. But I think, uh, no, sorry, I take it back. Uh, I make two people prepping, B and E. Okay, if this is what the world looks like, there are two people prepping, prepping. Then our sentence should be false. Great. Okay, so L is false. But I think that this sentence, which I will call star, this this attempted translation of L, is in fact true. No, consider B. Because, wait, wait, because now, what what does it take for this to be true? Wait, hold on, I might just be wrong. I, I, think, it's, that just I no think it's fine. fine. Wrong. Consider B. P of B is so true. So if you a non-pretty person in there, it becomes automatically true. Just like consider x equals b, y equals e. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But it has to work for every possible one. Just yeah, so that's wrong. wrong. That's wait, 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 give me a second to think. I'm not sure about, that's why I put the question mark. Uh, so you're saying if you put a, if you put a pretty person here. So that, so the left hand is true. Right for everyone else that's not that person, they're not pretty. That seems good. Uh, but if you put like, what if you put like A in here? Doesn't matter. Yeah, it it well, it's first. So I guess this is. It's I guess false, this does so work. I guess this does work. All right, let me try to wrap my head around this. What is this? What is this kind of saying? It's saying for every single person, if they're pretty, then if they're else. pretty, then no one else is. Yeah. yeah, that's not so hard to understand. I don't know what I was making for you. Yeah. For all that, if X is pretty, then for everyone else. It's kind of an ugly way to say it because it's a weird way of saying it. Yeah. Wait, there's, a, there's another one so which um, every year someone comes up with and it's like so weird that I, I don't believe it for like an hour and then I believe it. But it's, I've started to slowly get my head around it after teaching logic for 10 years. And it goes something like this. There's at most one pretty person if everyone besides one person is not pretty. So if there exists a person such that everyone else um, is not pretty, I think this is also valid. Uh, not even. So this says, um, basically, this this the way of making. Uh, uh, let me make this right first off. Yeah. So this is a really weird but correct way of saying that uh, there's at most one pretty person, and it goes like this. Uh, should we turn the camera off because all the people are back? Back from the marine bio field trip? Not everyone. Though. Not everyone. How are the fish? Back. Pretty good. Where are the people who are not back yet? <laughs> People are getting their stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, seven. Good. Okay. <laughs> There's just an extra for all y. If x is not y, then not p of y. Okay. So um, what this kind of says is like I'm pretty sure there's only one pretty person um, at most, and even that person might not be pretty. So basically, what we're saying is there's one person such that everyone else is not pretty, and I'm not going to say about anything about that person. That is a weird and convoluted uh, way of also expressing that there's at most one pretty person. I think you can turn that into one of the previous ones. Morgan's you actually, I think you can, because I'm pretty sure I tried. You can. But um, they are provably equivalent, but not in an obvious way. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's like real okay. close to Grace's. Uh, it's, it's, it's basically it's like Grace's. very close to Grace's. Yeah, it's basically Grace's. It's close to Grace's. It might be even, I don't know. Try it. Try to do Morgan out, see if you can show that they're equal. I don't think it's that easy. Okay, uh, good, moving on. Uh, people are just walking in. We're getting to the fun part now. Um, uh, there is exactly one preppy person. Oh, okay, here we go. So this is like the exactly one construction. And all right, you've been in this class already now for a couple weeks, so I feel like we already know sort of what exactly one means. What does exactly one kind of mean? Goodbye, Internet. All the people are back. <laughs>